a doctor. Everyone else has long since retired for the evening. If you would like, I could escort you to your bedchamber. No, uh, I believe I will remain down here for a little while longer and read. As you wish, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein! <laughs> Steen. Steen? Steen. Steen. Your grandfather, Victor, he also often liked to stay up late reading. Is that his portrait? Yeah, that is Victor. Handsome? Yeah, very handsome. By the way, all these books seem rather general. Heidi, the Black Beauty, the Kama Sutra? Where are my grandfather's medical books? His private library? I don't know what you're talking about. Never mind. I'll retire my own then. Good night. Would the doctor care for brandy while he's reading? No, thank you. Some warm milk, perhaps? No, thank you. That's very kind of you. Oval tea? Nothing! <laughs> Thank you. I could run out for grande soy maki. I said nothing! <laughs> nothing means nothing. Then I will say good night. Good night, Frau Blucher. It was from the crest of a heather-covered hillside that young Rebecca first set eyes on Sunnybrook Farms. Are you? What do you want? I am your grandfather, Victor von Frankenstein. How dare you, my only living relative, call yourself a Frankenstein? I, I call myself Frankenstein because I have no wish Silence! to- Silence! My beloved grandson, listen closely. in the pride of Romania since 1201, passed on four generations Father to son, descended from gypsies, as proud as we can be. Don't wish my curse, it could be worse. Embrace your family tree. Join the family business, learn the family trade. Make yourself a monster, make the world afraid. Join the family business, you must take the family name. Follow in her footsteps and you'll win eternal. The world birds are celebrated for their own for cheese. The Rothschilds are famous for their wives. Hershey's have their chocolates and Lipton's have their tea. When it comes to making monsters, you can't beat the Frankenstein. Join the family business, rob a rib or two. Stop the shop from closing, it all depends on you. Uphold the family art, you must toe the family rock. Join the family business! Join the family business for your name is Frankie Joe! Just relax. Make a serum come up with a brilliant 
Frankenstein, but I'm not. I'm not a Frankenstein. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Wake up! Wake up! What? What is it? You are having a nightmare. A nightmare? Oh. I was. Oh, Winga, it was terrible. <laughs> My ancestors, they were so crazy. They were so crazy. But boy, could they dance. Where is such strange music coming from? It's coming from behind this bookcase. Hmm. Where is it? Where is it? There is that. The device. In every cheapo horror movie, there's always a hidden device. A triggering mechanism. Hello. Huh. Nothing. Hand me that candle, will you? <gasps> Put the candle back. All right, I think you figured it out. Take the candle out, and I will block the bookcase with my body. Oh. 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 Now, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Do not put the candle back. And with all of your might, shove the other side of the bookcase. Is that perfectly clear? I think so. Good girl. Put the candle back. <laughs> Look, doctor, a hidden passageway. So that must be where the music is coming from. Better take a look. Oh, please let me go with you. I'm scared to stay here alone. All right. <laughs> Close your robe and follow me. Upstairs, and I just followed it down. 
nonsense. That wasn't you playing the violin. Oh, no. I only play the French horn. <laughs> then that means there's somebody else down here. Aren't there any lights in this place? Well, Master, there's a nasty-looking switch over there. Of course it does threaten... Oh, I don't know. Innocent electrocution. You should try it. All right, well, here goes nothing. So this is where it all happened. My grandfather's laboratory. Historic setting of his legendary experiments. <laughs> what a filthy mess. Oh, I don't know. A little bit of paint, a couple of drapes. A few flowers, or maybe even a throw pillow. Hello. So this explains the music. <gasps> it's still warm. And a cigar still smoldering in the ashtray. Someone or something was just here. Oh, Frau Blucher! I am that something or some van. So, the music. It was you playing the violin. Yes. Music that reaches the soul when words are useless. Your grandfather, Victor, used to play that very same exact tune to soothe the creatures he created. So you played it to lead us down here into his laboratory? Yes! And that's your cigar smoldering in the ashtray? Yes! Then you weren't just Victor's housekeeper. Yes! Then you and Victor were... Yes! Yes! Say it! Say it! He was my boyfriend! He was your boyfriend? Yes! Love comes when you least suspect me. I never expected a guy like you. He was a bully and a brute. He was as crazy as a goat. Still, I didn't give a hoot. He was my
here, Victor's book. Read it and see how the dead can be brought back to life. Please, you don't think anybody could actually- Think! I know! I saw it with my own eyes. Here, sit, read. All right. Um. Oh. How I Did It by Victor Frankenstein. Ridiculous. <clears throat> As I began my experiments, I had realized that creating life after death would be difficult. But with a little work, I could make it work. <laughs> Preposterous. Go fish. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Electrical stimuli of the brain. Yes. Yes, I see. Huh. Oh no. I-27. And a few elders, too. <laughs> Change the poles from plus to minus. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, to minus to plus! Oh, of course! Left hand blue. After years of ceaseless labor, I alone have discovered the secret of bestowing life! Nay! Even more, I myself became capable of bestowing animation upon lifeless matter. It could work! And it must, and you're the only man alive who could do it. Yes, Master, you can do it! Yes, sir, darling! Oh, I mean, doctor. I don't know. I don't know. Am I actually going to attempt this? Yes. Yes, I am! First things first, though. Igor! Yes, master. We have got to find the brain. A brain of someone who is good and kind. A brilliant mind. I want you to get me the brain of the late Hans Delbruck, one of Europe's greatest thinkers, a scholar, and a saint. Yes, master. I know exactly where to find it. Good. And once we have the brain... Oh, what was it my grandfather wrote? Ah, here it is. As the tiniest of human parts were a great hindrance to the speed of my work, I had realized must make the creature of a gigantic stature, of course, that would simplify everything. In other words, his hands, his feet, his organs must all be of great size. Exactly. <gasps> he must have an enormous Schwanstocker. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. Woof. He's going to be very popular. <laughs> so we'll need a body. About seven feet in height, newly dead, and all of its vital organs still intact. <laughs> but where can we find such a gigantic corpse? You can count on me, master. No good, I tell you. Bait, bait. Let's not bust to judgment. 
Oh, what the hell? Just this once, let's rush to judgment. Yeah! yeah! But I think it's time we pay this young Frankenstein a visit, no? We'll be pretending to welcome him to Transylvania. But instead, we'll be doing some serious world class snooping! <laughs> but in any event, my fellow villagers, we must keep our ears open and eyes peeled for any strange doings going on in the village itself. But especially be on the lookout for an enormous cart with squeaking wheels, perhaps, or the spinging lanterns of two cloaked grave robbers. Or something like that. You know what I mean. But in any event, if we catch them doing anything evil up there, remember our new law. Any man who creates a monster that forms a single hair on a person's head shall be hung by the neck until begin in one of the most daring and radical experiments in the history of medical science. The storm is directly over us. We must hurry to your stations. Igor. Yes, master. Generator on, please. Yes, master. Generator on. Now release the safety valve on the main wheel. Yes, master. Releasing. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. So let us now hurl the gauntlet of science into the frightful face of death itself.
switch! Throw it, damn you! Throw it! The Yes Master! If science has taught us anything, it is to accept our failures as well as our successes <laughs> with quiet dignity and grace. Why, you bastard! Why have you done this to me? Why have you done this to me? Doctor, stop! You kill him! He's not even alive! I don't want to live! I don't want to live! Quiet, dignity, and grace. <sighs> what was that? Nothing. I heard nothing. Same here. Must have been our imaginations. Yeah, just wishful thinking. <sighs> It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! 